You've probably seen or heard this meme before with Richard Stallman and this long diatribe about how Linux isn't Linux, it's GNU slash Linux. Now, this isn't really just a meme, it is a legitimate statement that speaks to one of the more beautiful aspects of Linux, which is its collaborative and its distributed development. You see, Linux really isn't just Linux. If I show you guys my desktop, this is not Linux. Linux is just the kernel of this operating system. It is merely one single piece of this wonderful OS, but by itself and without Richard Stallman and many other people's contributions, the Linux kernel would be all but completely useless. So when we talk about GNU slash Linux, the GNU part refers to many of the core utilities of the system. This are the small programs that we use in our terminal like LS and CD and MKDIR, grep, etc. These are tools that were developed by Richard Stallman, which existed on Unix, but on Unix they were proprietary. And if you know anything about Mr. Stallman, it's that he really despises proprietary software. So he made his own, and he made it free software, free is in freedom. And it's because of his efforts, as well as Linus Torvalds, who is the developer of the Linux kernel, that we have this fine operating system that we call Linux. I mean, just imagine trying to get any work done with just the Linux kernel, because every time you CD, that's a good new utility. Every time you touch a new file, that's a good new utility. And I know some noobs out there might think, oh, I don't even really use the kernel to do that stuff. I mean, I don't really use the terminal to do that stuff. I just click on stuff within my file manager and, you know, I right click to make folders and do all that stuff. Well, I've got some news for you, pal. Under the hood of whatever file manager you're using, this one I've got open here is uh, Thunarm. Under the hood of it, your file manager is doing all of that stuff in the background. It just doesn't show you code on the screen because, you know, normies get afraid whenever code shows up on the screen. So this is the same thing. This is still using the GNU core utilities. Without it, file managers like Thunar uh, would be useless. And Richard Stallman isn't just responsible for the GNU core utils, he's also responsible for GCC, which is the compiler used to compile all of the software on your system. Even if you're running a binary distribution like Arch, trust me, all of your stuff was compiled using GCC. He's also responsible for the GPL, which is arguably his most important contribution, because any software developed under that license can never be made proprietary. Even if a company like Apple, which is worth over a trillion dollars, offered up all of its money to try and buy the Linux kernel or the GNU utilities, it wouldn't be possible unless every single person involved in those projects, every single person that's contributed any code at all, even a comment to the code agreed. And I don't think you could buy off someone like Richard Stallman. He's so committed to not using proprietary software that even if you wanted to interview him, you pretty much have to do it in-house because he refuses to use Skype, WhatsApp, Google Hangouts, or any other type of proprietary video call. You really have to admire a guy who's that, who is that steadfast in their beliefs. Now, with all of that out of the way, I'm very thankful for Richard Stallman's contributions, but I'm not going to always refer to Linux as GNU slash Linux. And I have several reasons for this. First of all, it's just unnecessary verbosity. When somebody tells you that they use Linux, you know what they mean. 
Unless they're an absolute normie that's just piddling around on their MacBook Air, then you know there's no help for those people. You can't tell them anything about Linux because they have no idea what you're talking about. But us cool kids, we know what you mean. When someone tells me that they use Linux, I always think of a fully set up distro that is installed on their computer. I know what they're talking about. The second reason is, believe it or not, there's actually some Linux distributions that really don't have anything to do with GCC or the GNU core utilities. One that comes to mind is Alpine Linux, which replaces GCC with Muscle and the GNU core utilities with BusyBox. So applying the label of GNU slash Linux to Alpine wouldn't really fit, and I'm sure that there's other distros out there with a similar setup where there's not really any GNU stuff involved with the distro. And my final reason is that the GNU plus Linux meme is born from the concept that what you're using on your computer isn't just Linux, it's these core utilities plus Linux. But you're not just using the GNU core utils plus the Linux kernel to do your computing. You're also using an init system, a boot manager, an init RAM FS, a shell, and that just gets you a terminal like you see here. If you want a GUI, then you need even more software like Xorg or Wayland, and then you need a desktop environment or you need a window manager, and then you need your actual productivity software like Firefox, VirtualBox, Vim, LibreOffice, etc. So if we were to take the GNU plus Linux concept to its logical conclusion, our OS name would be something like GNU plus Linux plus Grub plus Systemd plus Xorg plus DWM plus Bash plus Vim. And I'm pretty sure that even the most autistic among us don't want to say all of that when they're referring to their OS.